Some time ago I figured out how to cheat Sonic 3 on the Mega Drive, or Genesis in American regions, without having to enter that awkward code very quickly, that is rather annoying. So I'm going to show you how to do it in an emulator now. Uh, we're going to have to use Fusion because my emulator doesn't support save states very well. Effectively it's doing the same thing, if you remember what I was saying about it keeping it in the RAM, well that's all this is effectively doing, it's loading different information into the RAM, Sonic 2's information. It's as if there was an if statement, if you've ever done a batch file I guess it's similar, basically if error level 1, enable that, that menu, of course that's not the exact statement but you know it works, so well I hope you do. First you need to load your Sonic the Hedgehog 2 ROM, like this, uh, I'm, like I say, using Fusion. Um, and then you need to like wait for the game to start up, as it is doing now, go to your options and enter your cheat code, which is 1965091 and 17. You'll hear this little chaffy bling noise and then you need to save your save state right there, that's fine. Now load your Sonic 3 ROM, exactly the same as you did your uh, Sonic 2 ROM, and as soon as the game loads, go to load state as, or whatever it is in your emulator, fire up that save state and the game will crash. Now do a soft reset, that's just like hitting the reset button on the system instead of turning it on and off. Sonic 3 will now start up with that information for Sonic 2 that it requires in the RAM and there we go, we have a sound test menu. You can probably already download save states for this on the internet somewhere but this is just an interesting thing I figured out and I only just figured it out recently that it is actually possible. So I hope you enjoy knowing this, uh, I just wanted to make a random video. Uh, still got the internet somehow so that's all, thank you and goodbye. As an afterthought, I figure you may be able to use this with Sonic and Knuckles as well, and you can probably use it the other way, like actually swap Sonic 3 with Sonic 2 again, like loading a Sonic 3 state with cheats on, and it should enable them in Sonic 2. It does work on the Mega Drive if you pull the Sonic 3 cartridge out with cheating enabled, and stick the Sonic 2 cartridge back in. So I imagine it works with this save state trick, and this time you don't have the danger of like ruining a console somehow, which is highly unlikely, but you never know, it could happen. Thanks for watching, you know, and hope you enjoy.